Okay, today is Tuesday tutorial, but what do I need a guitar for? We'll see. Okay. Okay, that's enough showcasing my talents. Let's head to the Tuesday tutorial. Let's see what do we have today. Okay, sit here, baby. Okay, actually my YouTube studio is in the garage, as you can see there are cars here, so, and that's the beautiful weather, as blue as it can be, and as green as it can be, and this is my new official YouTube studio, it's my laptop, it's my monitor, light up the string lights, Whoa, look at here. So fucking cool, isn't it? That's a treadmill. If I got bored, I can run for a while. And that's my study light. And that's all the gear I have for a beginner start. So let's see if you like it or not. That's all I have. So now I'm gonna put it back to manual mode because it's not gonna focus as you can see Nikon's focusing system is really fucked up. I cannot express it better. It is completely fucked up. This is again my new official YouTube studio. From now on I'm gonna record video here or maybe not. Who knows? Okay, so now officially let's start our Tuesday tutorial. What is up everyone? Hope you are all safe and healthy and watching my Tuesday tutorial because I'm gonna teach you something new today. So what are we gonna do today is that we're gonna use Adobe Audition to end our song whenever we wanted to. So it happened a lot to me that the song was four minutes and my clip was two minutes. So I just wanted to end the song where my clip, where my video ends. So I have problems. I didn't know Adobe Audition can fix this, but anyway. So I've just opened Adobe Audition here. And, and now what are you gonna need to do is to drag your song or whatever it is to the Adobe Audition to this panel here so what's special about this song is that I personally played this song well I'm bragging about myself a lot today the reason why I showed you the guitar first is because our song today has been played by that specific guitar so next off what are we gonna do is that we're gonna double click it and just for your information I just want to show you that it is in the waveform panel okay the purple panels that you see are the noises actually and you can get rid of these noises as well in Adobe Audition but I'm not gonna talk about it today let's just leave it behind for another day okay so this is waveform panel what are you gonna to need to do is to change it to multi-track panel you know why because it's multi-track you can add another track to your song it's just gonna save it so you're gonna hit ok or you can make a name for it anyway okay this is a uh, multi-track panel as you can see there are many tracks that you can add to your main song so what are we gonna need to do is that we're gonna drag and drop our song here we are gonna go until now to uh, cut it Control K and we're going to delete it and song plays from here okay now i just want to finish the song right now i uh, get the first 25 seconds 
So what I'm gonna need to do is that I'm gonna so what I'm gonna need to do is that I'm gonna go at the end and control K it so to just cut the rest of the song and now I'm just gonna cut it again and separate this specific track to add an effect to this specific track. So what you're gonna need to do is that you're gonna choose this specific track and you're gonna go to effects track you're gonna choose this arrow and you're gonna go to reverb full reverb and and you're gonna hit ok and you're gonna change the preset from default to great hall what great hall does to your song is that it's gonna give it reverberation so it's like that your song has been played in a great hall and this reverberation is specifically very good for the end of your song let me just play it for you so you can hear. As you can see here, this is a reverberation. If you change it to default, you can see that reverberation changes to 3040. But if it's on Great Hall, you can see that it changed to 100. Now, if you play it, Carry me home. that's it. Did you see? It's just ended. The song has finished. So to wrap it up, all the things you need is just two things, Adobe Audition and your song. You drag and drop your song to Adobe Audition and you hit the multi-track panel and in multi-track panel you're going to cut the end of your song and separate it from the main song. With that separated track, you're going to add a full reverb great hall effect and then boom, your song finishes at that moment. And that's it. So if this tutorial was helpful, you can see other Tuesday tutorials. This tutorial is number six, I think. There are five other tutorials that you can see. I hope it was helpful. If it was, consider subscribing, liking my videos so that I can be encouraged to make more videos for you, for you, a specific audience. You know what? I love you. I made this whole setup for you, just for you, to entertain you. That's it. Sweet low, sweet jazz.